Hello. Happy pink full moon. Back to the readings. Today's will probably be a little bit louder because I'm near a road. Last night, the traffic had mostly died down. Um, but it gets a little crazy here. But it's Sunday, you know. He is risen. Hot daddy coming back from the dead day. <laughs> this reading's going to be for Aquarius. I do astrology readings purely for entertainment. They're really fun to me. I think magnets are cool, especially the ones flying through space and that are reacting to our rocks. Rela reacting, relating, relaxing around. Aquarius. We're going to do past, present, and future. Also, you know, um, shout out to Ostara. The earth-centered um, version of this day. That spring baby. Also, puffball mushrooms. I'm convinced that puffball mushrooms are the reason that we hide eggs because puffballs often pop up at this time of year in the fields and they look like eggs and you can eat them okay past okay we threw like bye past Aquarius is done with you dead in the past we had <laughs> the knight of wands okay Aquarius apparently is done with that um, blazing fire simmering down. Got the lessons from it. Currently they are nine of cups. Aquarius is nine of cups. And then moving into the future. Oh, moving to the five of cups. Aquarius. Okay, okay. Came in like the Knight of Wands, threw that out the window, done with it, we don't even care. Nine of Cups. He's sitting there and he's like, you know what, the party's about to start. I got all my cups full, let's chat about it, let's have some emotions. Abundant. Mm. Emotions. Just before the lesson, though, right? Hasn't exactly made it to ten cups. But maybe it's still choosing to party anyway. Like, come on over. I got at least nine anyway. But something happened. It's gonna happen. In which you're left with two. We're not happy. I'm sure what happened to the other four. Maybe people took them home from the party. But at least three are fully drank. And... They're feeling a little nervous to be down to only two. They thought they were about to learn that lesson, and now they're back down to two. Which the two of cups is love, okay? So maybe there was some fiery energy that instigated a love situation, especially with the abundance of emotions. Might as well. Have some love, um, but maybe it wasn't the right love. And now you can't even see the true, actual love present in your life, which is right behind your back. Let's, um, let's see about this middle party here with the Nine of Cups. I'm not seeing any crowds in these cards, so I feel like Aquarius might be currently having a party with themselves. What's that party like? Mm, okay. Mm. Four of Pentacles and the Sun. And the Knight of Swords. Interesting self party there. 
Maybe some sun came out and you were like, cool. But it seems like it shined on you being a little nervous at that four of pentacles right before the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is being outcast. So in the four of pentacles, maybe during that nine of cups moment you had with yourself, um, you realized you what you had is not super stable. I'm trying to clutch onto that a little bit. I want to look at the Knight of Swords because I get a little bit mixed up. Okay, yeah. So that's like the page. That's the younger masculine um, intellectual cycle. Air. And the Knight of Swords is stubborn, determined, brash, and overbearing. It seems like when you shine some light on yourself and your emotions it didn't inspire an open heart in you it inspired some insecurity that's presently what you're in well, let's look at the future five of cups how did we get there from the Nine of Cups. Mm. There was a conflict. You had a conflict with your community. But you were on the high ground. So this is a lone battle moment. You had to stand up for something. You had to stand up for something and it was somewhat devastating, um, but somebody loved you for doing it. The two cups in the back. There's love behind your back. It was not more betrayal. You stood your ground and that was a success. It's because we also have the king of cups, which means the like absolute maturity, um, sturdy maturity of the cups, the emotions. Mm. And that love has to do with somebody coming back from the past. This is the six of cups. So it seems you made it past. You were concerned at the four of cups. Clamping down a little bit, but it seems like your uh, maturity and emotions, though you though you had some grief, um, brought somebody that you're familiar with back into your life, and maybe that's the love. Let's see if this person, what's this person that came back all about? Yep, <laughs> confirmation, past love, two of cups. They're standing right there behind you. What's it going to take for you to see them? Let's shuffle on that. Ace of Pentacles. Prosperity, stability, new beginnings, and abundance. Seems like you receiving the abundance that is around you is going to help you see the love from your past.
it's going to take a tower. It's going to take um, clarity through illusions. And watching the illusions just crumble. <laughs> Page of Wands, you're picking the staff back up though. Looking at the tip of it, sizing it up, getting back in the game. You got you salvaged a tool from the tower. A tool that'll help you act. Doesn't seem like you're staying in the Five of Cups for long. Okay, I want to pull one for career. Your career is the Empress. I think almost every read so far has had the Empress energy. Which in Libra, I think, um, I realize she's crowned with poppies and has a like Datura plant coming up beneath her. The Empress. The Empress of what? I mean town, but like, what kind of town? The Empress of Meditation, the Four of Swords. And work. The Empress of Work Through Meditation. So it's interesting because the Four of Swords is relaxation and rest. And then the Three of Pentacles is work. The Three of Pentacles is success, collaborations, solutions, and confidence. So it seems maybe, maybe you're facilitating rest um, and relaxation. And that brings success. Wonderful Aquarius. I'm seeing that you have a very heart centered stretch of road coming, acting in love, meditating in work. That seems like an empress. Meditating in love and, and uh, no, acting in love and meditating in work. That is a balanced empress. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Aquarius. 